He is a free diving instructor and just so happens to be an amazing underwater photographer. Welcome back, Nathan Lucas. How are you? Thanks for having me back. Thank you for being here. Okay, I was looking at your pictures and I don't want to waste any more time. I want to put them up and show them because they are really spectacular. Thank you. How do you get those gorgeous underwater shots? Gorgeous underwater shots, it's uh, all my shots. It's about painting with light. It's literally taking light and painting your subject with it. Mm -hmm. um, and the way that I do it underwater is, the magic behind that is that I'm able to do it on a single breath of air. So I'm able to get high, get low, move and adapt very quickly, where if I were on scuba, I would not have that mobility underwater. So what you're saying is your free diving helps your beautiful underwater Absolutely. portraiture. So look at you to blend the two together. <laughs> the other thing I think is interesting, I want to show everybody your camera because the rig is incredible. You so, want to bring so this it over? Is just, I, I brought this on because everyone's seen a camera, but this is an underwater camera oh right my. here that's specific to underwater photography. Um, wow. I work with a couple of different things. I work with, you know, with strobes here that you see. I also work with a uh, with another light uh, light that offers a lot of. Uh, it's a constant light source, mm -hmm. and it's uh, they're called Stella lights that you basically you uh, you have a lot of power underwater because water absorbs light big time. Uh -huh. So um, I use constant lighting sources that are waterproof, and then I also use strobes to kind of grab that effect. And you're telling me that the beautiful pictures that we see your underwater work. There's no color adjustment editing afterwards? No, not really. I mean, most of the stuff that I do, I capture in camera. And the editing that I do, I might uh, do some slight skin adjustments. I might add some grain or some uh, tonal layers and such like that. But for the most part, everything, I mean, you saw some of the pictures straight out of camera. Yeah. This is, uh, it's literally painting with light. I'm, I'm doing what makeup does. Um, but with is, light. Is basically contouring the body, but I'm doing it with light. And by doing that, you literally can paint in cheekbones. You can make someone have more definition. And there's some classic rules that we go over when I, uh, when I teach my photography classes. Uh -huh. That is, um, you know, basically any kind of portraiture. You want to have the face the brightest part of the subject. The eyes should be the part, uh, brightest part of the subject, or the sharpest part of the subject. Uh -huh. And you should have good composition. And from there, then you can start building upon creativity. But what's amazing to me is there's, lot, there's a million photographers that do a lot of beautiful things on the land, but yours is underwater. That's just like a whole different dimension to me. <laughs> it's, uh, like I said, you know, you, when, you, when you have the opportunity to combine two passions, mm -hmm. all of a sudden you come alive in yeah. something like that. So when I'm doing a portrait session for someone and we're doing underwater photography, um, not only am I getting to teach and do stuff that I, that I absolutely love to do, but I'm able to uh, craft an image that is it's way more fun. Yeah, I'm not I'm, breathing and gonna, we're, we're capturing something epic, right? I was going to say, and it's probably unique to you because there's not a lot of photographers that can hold their breath for five minutes at a time <laughs> and get the shot. Well, I'd say we, we, I definitely wouldn't be underwater that long when we're trying to get this shot, but, uh, but I, I will say that... Um, it's, it's very rewarding when you go through the extra work, no matter if it's on land or if it's, uh, if it's underwater. If you go through that extra effort to do anything and your results are phenomenal, mm -hmm. and you walk taller. Yeah. It's wonderful. Absolutely. Okay, and then the last thing I want to talk to you about, because you said it to me, and I think it's really interesting, because now we all have an iPhone. Yes. And we have that beautiful portrait mode yes. that is gorgeous. And I feel like in some cases we can eliminate the photographers. We could, we could, we could. But you're telling me that you figured out a way to do something that an iPhone can't. This is what my quest was, because why do I have all this expensive gear if that is going to make it irrelevant? And the, the reason behind it is that that has a very hard time using light to overpower the sun, to mm -hmm. be able to paint somebody and contour their body with light. Uh, using off-camera lighting is 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 absolutely the crux of photography and good photography and if it's done properly it's absolutely stunning very cool well we will link of course to our facebook page thank you so people can get a hold of you and look I at all it. your photos <laughs> thank you for coming in thank you